Welcome to Jefferson Hills Summer Reading Program, Week 8. This is the last week of the Summer Reading Program. I hope you enjoyed the program. Today's story is Goldfish on Vacation. In a small apartment in a tall round building by a park next to a river in the middle of a big city, there lived three children, H, little O, and baby M. In a small bowl next to a lamp in the middle of a table beside the curtains in the small apartment, there lived three goldfish, Barracuda, Patch, and Fis. An old fountain stood at the end of their street. It was broken and covered in ivy. No one used it anymore except to throw garbage in, but the children thought it was beautiful. On top of the fountain, there perched, as if he just landed or was just about to fly off, a magnificent stone eagle with outstretched wings. Grandpa said the same people who built the famous Grand Central Station built the fountain. And in the olden days before cars, horses drank from it. But when people got cars, they didn't need horses or the fountain, and they stopped taking care of it. The children felt sad for the fountain and the eagle. Then, early one summer, there was a sign that said, Hamilton Fountain Water Garden, coming in two weeks, calling all goldfish looking for a summer home. The children rushed home to tell their fish, you're going on vacation. Barracuda stared with his big fish eyes. Fis blew big fist bubbles and Patch sank slowly down to the bottom of the bowl. See, H said, they can't wait. Grandpa rushed into the kitchen and on the big calendar on the wall, next to June 28th, he wrote, Goldfish on Vacation. But the children didn't need a calendar to remember. They were already counting the days. Every morning they rushed to the window and so did Grandpa. And every morning they watched a man at the fountain. One morning he was cleaning. The next morning he was scrubbing and scraping. Another morning he pulled ivy off the eagle and filled the fountain with clean cold water. And he put in tall reeds and then lily pads. And then one morning the children couldn't see him. They couldn't see him because of all the children. The children and children and children crowding around him. All of them waiting to drop off their little fish children. It's today, cheered H, little O, and baby N, and it was. In no time, they were making their way slowly down the big staircase and out the front door. Grandpa leading the way, then little O with her net, then baby M with the fish food, then H with the bowl and barracuda and patch and fish in a wonderful goldfish parade. Out on the street, everywhere they looked, there were goldfish parents just like them with their goldfish. When at last it was their turn at the fountain, H and baby M and little O told their goldfish goodbye and see you soon and don't be homesick. Then the man helped them lower the bowl underwater. At first, the fish hung back in the bowl until in a flash of light, they darted and were gone. The water shone in the shadow of the eagle's wings and the children saw glistening in the sunlight, swimming in the clear, cool pool, like sudden glimpses of hidden treasure, fish after golden fish. All through the summer, H and Little O and Baby M stopped by to say hello to their goldfish, and so did other goldfish parents. Soon, all the children looked forward to meeting each other at the fountain. Every day they played together, and every day Grandpa came and put his chair down and chatted with the children who sat and listened. And he told them stories of those hot August days long ago when he was a boy and how all the children who couldn't leave the city would jump and splash in the fountain. And then the children wished that they were those children jumping in. Before they knew it, it was the end of summer. The man told the goldfish parents that the only way to catch their fish was to go to the fountain. 
to wade in the water with their nets. And so all the children took off their sandals and jumped in and splashed and laughed in the fountain. And grandpa took off his sandals too and rolled up his trousers and paddled. And he said it was just like those days long ago when he was a boy. And the children could hardly even recognize their goldfish. They all looked completely like different fish. Are they really our fish? Asked little O as they headed home. Oh, yes, I'm absolutely certain there are fish, said Grandpa, who really wasn't certain at all. They look so fat and happy, said H. Of course, said Grandpa. That's what a vacation will do for you. Anyway, who says you have to leave the city to have a vacation? And the children laughed because they knew that was true. And so the goldfish, who may have been barracuda and patch and fish, or some old other goldfish altogether, went back to being fish in a bowl. And the children went back to being children in school until the next summer when Hamilton Fountain would once again be filled with lily pads and reeds and shining water and goldfish. And children. That's the end of our 2020 summer reading program at Jefferson Hills Library. I hope you enjoyed the program and don't forget to take and pick up your take home treat bag at the library when you come for the last week. Thank you. Have a great rest of the summer.